Hello there. Are you engaged in long running tests like battery drain characterization, accelerated life testing, or maybe you are developing an IoT product and want to perform a frequency sweep to make sure your SOC performs within spec at every channel? These can be some really long tests. You usually have two options. One is to patiently sit through the whole duration of the test hoping to be there when something interesting happens. Second is to let the test run its course, blindly collecting data through the entirety of the test just to eventually and painfully parse this mammoth of a data for your points of interest. Let me tell you about our new data logging feature in Texco. You can define the measurements you're interested in and how frequently you want it to be captured and then just walk away. TechScope will automatically capture the data and store them in easy to view file formats. The tests can run for hours, days, or even longer. The scopes have a similar feature that lets you trigger a capture based on specific conditions. TechScope brings in the power of periodic captures in case your specific conditions are never triggered or not needed. Since data logging is essential to any remote analysis, we have made it part of the TechScope starter tier. Let's explore how to use TechScope's new data logging feature. Please use TechScope version 1.38 or higher. Let's fire up TechScope and connect to a scope. I am connecting to a MSO5 series with 8 channels. For this demo, we will focus on one channel only. But of course, this feature works for multiple channels and multiple connected scopes as well. I'm also using scopes AFG to generate a 1 MHz square wave on channel 1. Now that we have our scope connected, let's go ahead and add measurements we want to be captured. I'm going to add amplitude, frequency, time outside levels and also ripple. Let's change time outside levels to be plus two volts to minus two volts. To be able to see the measurement in a neat tabular format, let's add the results table. You can also add math, other reference waves, or even bus decodes, whatever your analysis demands. Since this video is highlighting data logging capabilities, I will move on and show you how to set up data logging. From file menu bar on top, navigate to utility, then act on event option. In the new menu, turn on timer events and define the length of each capture in timer interval and also how many captures do you want in the count field. The helpful total time tells the expected duration of this capture. Now select the items you want to be captured, whole screen, waveform, and measurements. Before we go to this menu, let's quickly look at config options as well. Define the location where you want your results to be stored. You can define file naming conventions, and even the file format for your screen and waveform captures. You also have the option to capture all the channels or a specific channel. Since we're dealing with only one channel in this demo, I will go ahead and select channel one. All said and done, let's go ahead and start our run. I will fast forward this section Now that our test run has been completed, let's look at the output saved folder. As selected, our waveforms have been stored in .wfm. A screenshot of every waveform at every run has been stored in .png. All the data from the measurement results are compiled into one Excel file which can be seen here. 
Having all the data results into an Excel file opens up endless possibilities. Now we can use the familiarity of Excel to draw other plots or tables or graphs that we want to do with our analysis. This was a quick introduction to TechScope's new data logging feature. We hope you enjoyed this video.